Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. So, you know, I'm making these quick dip videos and I realized I hadn't made one for GarageBand. So, uh, what I'm going to show you right now are two really great uh, workflow tips for GarageBand. If you, don't if you don't already know them, these are the kinds of things uh, that as you, you know, spend more time with GarageBand, you learn. Uh, and these are the kinds of things that just sort of speed up your process. Uh, so, let's take a look at my screenshot and get right to the quick tip for GarageBand. All right, so here we are inside a typical GarageBand window. So the two things I'm going to show you uh, are really, you know, should really help your workflow. Um, just, you know, it, it'll make your life easier if you start doing stuff like this. So really quickly, what I'm going to show you, and a lot of you might know this, I'm just going to show it anyway, is how to easily duplicate a track. Um, so basically, you know, you select any track you want here on the left, um, and then you hit Command and D and watch, bam. I got a new track. I can just hit Command D as many times as I want, and it will duplicate that track exactly. So it'll have all the effects on there, all the automation will be there. Um, this is great for, you know, if you're trying to create a fake stereo track or something. Um, this is a great way to do that. Now, the other thing that sort of goes with that particular move is this. Um, now, if you look at these three right here, this is the chorus inside this song. Um, so. I select these three, right? I hit Option, and then I click and hold on there, and you can not, see it automatically expands it. And then I will, let's keep expanding it, and then I will um, drag it over to the right here. And as you can see, it has copied all three regions, it's keeping them all together, and then I can shove them down here into the second chorus. Um, and now this is exactly how I did this song. You can see that's exactly the file that's under there. Um, let me just undo that. So that's pretty much it. You know, these are two really easy workflow tips for you on GarageBand that should make your life a little bit easier. Um, one thing I'll just add to this uh, is if you go up here to Control and you want to look for uh, hide or actually show alignment guides, it's right here. I love the alignment guides, especially if you're copying tracks and moving them around. It it will lock it into that place and it also give you a guide if you do accidentally shift it left or right. But that yellow line is, you know, you love it. It's a great thing. It's a guide. Uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Peace.